Going to take a quick look at uh, DVD navigation removal. Actually, navigation screen on a, uh, this is a 2011. 9.4X, I'm guessing the 2010 and 11 9.5 are probably very similar. Um, first thing I did is I popped this side panel off right here. And it just, it pops right out with these clips. So it pops out. So I took that off. Then there's two screws down here in the um, ashtray. And once you get those out, this was kind of, this one kind of was stuck in there. Um, I didn't know there was a clip back in here down deep. So, you know, it's loose with the two screws out and you still can't get it. So like a lot of stuff, plastic, you got to pull on it. Sometimes it breaks, sometimes it has a hidden clip. So I had a hidden clip. Once I got that out, then it kind of reveals all the screws. So you've got a screw there, screw there, screw head there, screw head there, and so forth. So that got this side all free. Then worked over to the dash pad, and the dash pad pops out towards you. And you can see the clips in there that hold that in place. So once you have that off, then you can work the vent out. And the vent had screws holding it right here so it had a screw here and a screw here all that stuff's pretty obvious and then i think there was one clip yeah a clip a clip right here holding that in so once you get that up and out of the way now i got i got things laid up and out of the way i did go ahead and unplug the cigarette lighter just to just to get it out of the way but it's out of the way now now this panel You've got a screw up here hidden. And there's again two screws down here, two screws, so five screws. There's one more clip that's kind of hidden, and it's this panel right here. If you can, hard to hold the light now. Iron the camera. But you can see that clip right here, hopefully. It's right there. And uh, once you take this clip, pull this little panel down this is next to your kick panel so that's the only one that really caused a little grief is this cat right here um, so you got to get that free in order to get that little guy right there so that one is caught through in here right there so if you don't release that from the bottom here and it's just a matter of pulling down on it gently then that was the last piece of the puzzle holding the panel in and then of course the panel is free i can move it out of my way then i can take my four screws out that hold the dvd in place or the navigation unhook my wires which i've already done and i've got it out to ship in and i'll send that to united radio and i think it's um Syracuse, New York, I believe does those. They said they're about 600 bucks. I know there are some guys trying to put new radios in. I know on the new gen 9.5, and I believe on the 9.4, I believe they're married to the VIN. So I'm not quite sure how successful you'll be doing that. Um, I think obviously anything's possible if you're really computer savvy. But again, that's a, it doesn't take much time. You know, had I did one before, probably wouldn't have took me five, 10 minutes to get that radio out. Um, it's pretty quick, pretty simple. And this is 2011 9.4X. And again, I think it'll be the same for 2010 to 11 uh, 9.5 new gen. So this is Tom Donnie from Fort Dodge and Sturgis. Hoping this helps you. Bye. So we're looking at a 2011 9.4X popping the navigation unit out. <clears throat> and you've got the screen is here and the navigation unit is actually where the DVD player goes. It's behind the screen. So you do have to take the monitor out to get the DVD unit out or the navigation unit out, but you gotta take all these bolts off, screws off. So you've got a handful of screws here to take out. And there, and probably the only hard part on this is right here, this is kind of a hidden area. Um, you gotta get this panel, try to do it one-handed here. You got to get this panel right here to come free 
so you can get that stud. And it's now it's hard to see with the light here, but there's a stud there that sticks up through, and it and it goes into this panel. So without without that stud out, then this panel won't release all the way. But everything just once the screws are all out, everything just pops free. And I started with this piece of trim here. Got the uh, cigarette lighter out. Took that out of the way. Everything just kind of pops out, like I said in the rest of the video. So <clears throat> hopefully if I tag all these videos together, you can get a good idea how to do all this. Again, we're looking at the 2011 94X navigation unit. And really, this is the first piece you got to get out, is this long piece of trim right here. And it just snaps in. So once you get this piece out, you snap. Now you can snap this whole dash pad, literally just pops off. It's got clips all the way around, just like these clips. So it literally just pushes in. So you pop that, you pop the that, you know, this piece off, the dash off. Now it starts revealing screws. Um, take the ashtray out. It is, it's got a clip down in there too. You got to pop in and pop out. So again, with plastic, you're never quite sure what you're popping, if you're breaking or what, but uh, it all comes apart really slick and really easy. If I had to do one again, it would take less than 10 minutes to get the radio out for sure. So hope this helped you. Looking at a uh, navigation unit on a 2011 9.4 X Aero. And to me, the hardest part is figuring out how everything unhooks because every clip is a little unique. So the white one has a little tab you push down on. Most of them just have tabs that you push down. It's just, you know, you're digging around in there black one's got a push down tab these are these are the ones that were hard to get off um, those you you squeeze them to release them but again they're just trying to figure out how to get them off because you can't see in there um, it, it is a bit of a problem and everything's kind of the same way it's just squeeze to release and they got to squeeze pretty hard on some of them, so good luck.